Hello fellow have and have not fans, the topic of this video is going to be what caused the tension between Warlock and Benny's friend Mitch. Now if we go back a few episodes we know that Benny wants Warlock as well as his friend Mitch to work with him in Benny's towing company. However there is a tension between Warlock and Mitch that causes the two to not want to work together and both telling Benny to watch out for the other. Now, I guess you could say that this theory might have a little more evidence than we have come to expect just because they've only been present in a couple of episodes. I will say this much. We know that Mitch doesn't want Warlock to work in a towing company just because of the fact that he's dealing drugs and that's pretty much going to break up the operation. Remember that the previous owners of the towing company had a similar situation where they were discovered doing under the table things such as, you know, drugs and who knows what else, which caused the company to fail and go up for auction. The last thing that Mitch wants is for the exact same thing to happen now that Benny's running it. He mentioned a guy named Will. He told Benny not to trust or hire Warlock because he's dealing drugs but he says hey maybe we should bring in Will which Benny is quick to say no 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 he slings right and he's like well Warlock does the same too but Benny's quick to defend Warlock saying at least he's not on the corner or the streets with it pretty much I guess you could say when it comes to comparing the unseen character named Will and Warlock Warlock works from the shadows while Will seems to be more out in the open either way you know it's caused a slight tension between Benny and Mitch in terms of who to bring into the company to assist him because even though there are two guys who are great at what they do which is towing trucks because again they cleared eighteen hundred dollars together if they're going to run a company, they're going to need as much help as they can get, whether it be a secretary to answer the phone a lot better than the one that uh, Warlocks brought in a couple of episodes ago. That was just a hilarious scene, but they're going to need some dependable people to help them out here. So, again, if you look at the tension between Warlock and Mitch, if you ask me, Warlock has been, you know, discovered to be, you know, of course, somebody who sells drugs, um, but maybe even a pimp at this point because we know he has girls. But I do say that overall, he seems to be like a good guy. But if you cross him or give him a reason to, he will hate you, kill you, or most likely hunt you down. All that's to say that I don't think Warlock is the kind of person to dislike someone unless he has a very good reason to. For example, Candace, you know, much love between him and Candace. But when he discovered that she played him for millions of dollars, because again, he put everything on the line to kidnap uh, Jim for her to extort that money and for her to lie only saying she got 400k when she got 7.4 million he had every right to be mad because it was a federal judge and if she didn't blackmail Jim enough he would have destroyed Warlock and his entire operation so again I agree that he has every right to be mad at Candace but again it just shows you that unless he unless, if he doesn't have good reason Warlock is cool with you but if he has good reason to he will flip sides he will murder you and Quincy is another example. I mean, he hates Quincy with a passion for everything that he did to Candace, being that he physically abused her in the past. So this goes back to Mitch. I mean, we don't know much about Mitch, but from what we do know, and when he was introduced, he seemed to be a good guy. I mean, right after Benny came out of his coma and went back into towing, you know, we saw Mitch for a little bit talking about the auction and, you know, how him, Benny, and some other guys he knows should come into it. But Benny was quick to uh, talk about a couple of them. I don't recall the names. Uh, Mitch mentioned some different people. Benny was like, no, nah, man, you know they're dealing with drugs. So in the end, those people backed out. Benny and Mitch didn't have enough money. Candace bought the company, gave it to Benny. And that's why Mitch was a little bit, you know, jealous or mad at Benny for good reason because he did. He, Benny said he didn't have the money to do it with Mitch, but all of a sudden he came into it himself. That's when Benny explained to Warlock and Mitch how he got the company through Candace. Now, this leads to my next point. Mitch seems to be hiding something that we don't know about. You think about it. Uh, Benny trusts Warlock, but he's unaware to Warlock's you know, aggression towards Candace and how she came across the money. Benny is cool and trusts Mitch. But there's something we don't know about Mitch, especially in regards to the tension between him and Warlock. Maybe it was some kind of deal that went sour in terms of drug involved or some kind of other deal. And the fact that he's positive about working with Will, knowing that he slings, versus Benny being cool with working with Warlock, but he slings too. There's something there that we don't know about. Perhaps uh, Mitch and Warlock used to work together, or let's say Mitch worked for Warlock. Or and something went bad and maybe turned like a Benedict Arnold and turncoat to Will's side. And that's why, you know, 
Warlock isn't too cool from being in the crew. Uh, well, the towing company, if you will. So it just comes down to maybe there's something that we don't know about in the past that I really do hope comes to the light. You know, Tyler Perry, I hope he writes that into the series. So with that being said, what do you think is the reason between the tension between, ben, um, excuse me, Warlock and Mitch? Was it something that went down in terms of a drug deal? And maybe that's why Mitch is more cool with Will than Warlock. And will we ever see that come to the show? You know, will Benny ever have his eyes open as to who Warlock truly is and who his friend Mitch truly is? So, again, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to follow me on my Have and Have Not Facebook page as well as Twitter. And I will see you all in the next episode.